Hey guys, I'm Amy Jane and welcome to Everything Guns. Today we decided to give a rifle an overview, but not just any rifle, my rifle. My Terran Tactical TR1. I get asked all the time what I run, what certain parts I use, especially by people who compete or are interested in competing. So we're going to go over the whole thing and answer all your questions in one shot. Get it? One shot. Anyways, okay. Let's start with the Voltor E-Mod. The Voltor Enhanced Modular Buttstock, or E-Mod, is the third design in the mod stock series. The E-Mod was mainly developed to provide extra storage when compared to the early mod stocks and comfort when shooting in prone position. The E-Mod is considered to be one of the strongest collapsible stocks for the AR platform. I've put this through a bunch of matches and practice and it takes the abuse with zero problems. Okay, now on to the Voltor MUR Upper Receiver. The Voltor Modular Upper Receiver, or MUR, was mainly created to be the strongest, most rigid forged upper receiver available to the AR-15 market. Rigidity equals accuracy. Thick forged construction adds to safety. To this day, not a single MUR has ever splintered from a catastrophic detonation. The MUR also features a forward-placed forward assist, allowing the operator to manipulate the charging handle obstruction-free from the right side of the weapon. Also, Voltor takes pride in keeping the tolerance tight, which increases accuracy and high reliability, all the more reason to use this for competitions. Now, moving on to a smaller but just as important piece, my BCM Gunfighter Charging Handle. Developed by Voltor for Bravo Company, the Gunfighter Handle is machined from a 7075T6 forging for maximum strength. The handle features a patented latch system which provides extreme strength and speedy ergonomics. I highly recommend the Gunfighter Handle for all competitive and tactical shooting. Now moving on to my scope. My scope is the new Trigicon TR25 1-6. I used to run the Trigicon TR24 and I absolutely loved it. I only switched because they came out with the 25 with more power. And who doesn't love more power? My scope is mounted with the LaRue Tactical LT-104. I'm not going to use any other scope mount because this one has worked from day one and it's the best I've ever used. And last but not least, the BCM KMR Handguard. My rifle is equipped with a Bravo Company Key Mod 15 inch rail system. The KMR 15 is made of a specialized magnesium and aluminum blend. Magnesium is normally brittle, but very light. And by adding aluminum to the material makeup, it allows the material to bend before breaking. The rail system itself weighs an amazing 5.5 ounces. Yes, it's seriously that light. And the one and a half inch wide octagonal shape provides excellent ergonomics, making it ideal for a lightweight three gun AR-15 handguard. The patented KMR handguard series features the KeyMod interface system. Originally developed by Voltor, KeyMod has become popular the world over. These keyhole shaped slots securely mount a huge variety of mountable accessories, decreases a handguard's weight, and provides really good ventilation to keep your rifle cool. Accessories currently offered for KeyMod include mounts for slings, bipod, weapons, lights, sights, and even different types of vertical foregrips and hand stops. Anything that can be mounted to a handguard is probably available for the KeyMod system. So this is the setup that I compete with. I'm very happy with it and I feel really confident with it and that's what really matters when you're building a rifle. If you're nervous about something breaking or malfunctioning, it's going to take your head out of the game. I've tried other parts and pieces, but when you're competing, you always rely on what you know works. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Well, the gun we're going to be cleaning today, one of Amy's uh, guns that she competes with. This is the Glock 34. Glock's a great gun to, care, uh, to choose for today's subject because it is the most widely issued and carried handgun uh, pr pretty much in all the world. Okay, we're done.